guys, so today I'm going to be doing my July and August Ipsy bags, and the reason simply is I didn't have time last month, and my Ipsy bag didn't come on time. So by the time I got it, I thought, well, it's kind of pointless, I'll combine July and August, so here I am. So I have July's already open, I know everything that's in here, but today I went to the mailbox and I was like, yay, I got my August one on August 18th, which is, you know, a kind of good date to get it. So I just, I, I'm going to combine them. So let's look at July's, I know you probably already know what's in July's, but let's do it anyway, humor me. So uh, the first thing I see is this acne spot treatment. And it's Clear Clinic Laboratories Vanished Clear Spot Treatment, which I'm always interested in trying some spot treatments because my acne is just flaring up lately. So let's get rid of those bad boys. Next is Bare Minerals 5-in-1 BB Advanced Performance Cream Eyeshadow Broad Spectrum SPF 15. Um, so what color did I get? I got this color. It's like a tan color. I don't know what color this is. Soft shell, maybe? Barely nude? I don't know. It's an, a cream eyeshadow. I'm guessing it's supposed to make your eyelids look nicer? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I got another sunscreen. This is Perlice SPF 30 sunscreen. Now, I really like that I get these little itty-bitty sunscreens because I keep them in my purse and they come in handy at work. Um, other than that... I can take it or leave it, but, you know. I got Tints and Sass Fabulous Lip and Cheek Stain by Elib Le Elizabeth Mott. And it's in the cherry color slash scent, I'm assuming. Yes, it smells like cherry. That's cool. But, um, yeah, so it's just another cheek stain. We'll see if this one actually works because in the past I've tried the cheek stains and they just don't work right on me. They blotch and they... Yeah. So, we'll see. Hopefully I like it. And then the last thing is this model's own nail polish. Look at this color. I don't have anything like this color, so I thought it was pretty cool. It's shimmery. I mean, it kind of reminds me of a five-year-old's nail polish, but at the same time, it's cool. I like it, so I'm going to use it. And um, July's theme... You get a free shipping code thing for Bare Minerals, but this theme was Sensationally Sun-Kissed. Now we're on to August, when we're getting back to school time, so let's get to that. So, as you see, I have not even opened this, so I'm so excited! Ha-cha! Okay, so the first thing I notice is it's a completely different packaging. It actually looks like a pencil case and a different kind of cosmetic bag, which I think is pretty cool. Um, it's a weird kind of plasticky consistency, and um, but I really like the orange polka dots. Isn't that so cute? I'm probably going to use it as my pencil bag, honestly, because um, I go back to school in a week and a half, so there you go. I also see two things in the bag. I see it's Beauty Schooled is the theme, and then we get an Urban Decay Perversion mascara sample, which is cool because I have loved the perversion eyeliner sample that they provided a couple months ago. And, uh, yeah. So, another mini mascara. Can never go wrong since you gotta get rid of your mascaras every three months anyway. Okay, so let's get into this bag. So, I see Mana Beauty Simplified Sheer Glow Shimmer Lotion. Um, so I'm guessing this is kind of a highlighting kind of thing. Looks a little pink for me, because I have a yellow base skin tone, so I don't know if that'll work for me, but I'll give it a try. Then I see Jersey Shore Sun Mongo Ongo. Mongo... Mongo Ongo. No. I don't know. Mongongo? <laughs> I don't know. Nutrient-dense anti-aging lip conditioner. Mandarin green, orange, ginger. Nah. I don't even know if I should open this. I'm probably just going to give it to someone because that does not sound up my alley at all. But there it is. Then I got Coastal Scents Eyeshadow Sample. This is Set 23 Persian Pink, Persian Pink, Baby Pink, Pink Silver, and Icelandic. I've gotten these samples before and I honestly never use them just because... They're in this weird packaging. They're not usually colors I want to use. Like, I probably am never going to use those. And I don't know. 
I just think it's a really cheap sample. But whatever. And then the last thing I see is this reviving spray, Free Your Mane. Um, I'm going to guess this is like a dry shampoo. Nope, that's a regular spray. Okay. It doesn't smell bad. It says it helps with frizz, which I'm all about. Um, so yeah, we'll see how that is. But that is all that's in my Ipsy bag overall. Okay months. I'm getting to the point with Ipsy. Like I got to the point with Birchbox where I'm really thinking of canceling for two reasons. Maybe three. One, their samples are starting to just lack the excitement that it gave me before. Two, I don't feel like paying the $10 a month anymore. And three, I'm getting to the point where I get all these samples that I really don't care about, so I'm not using them. And so they either go to waste, or I have to give them away, or they just sit there and they're taking up space, and it's not even like it's anything I would normally buy myself. So I just feel like it's getting to be kind of a waste. Um, I don't know. Let me know what you guys are feeling on the whole ipsy bag thing like it was so much better when I originally switched from Birchbox to this but now I feel like they lost the I don't know the role they were on and now it's kinda just lackluster again I don't know let me know if you guys feel the same down in the comments below because I don't know how to feel anymore but I don't feel like wasting money and time if I'm not gonna use this stuff so that is my double dose of ipsy glam bag unboxings for you Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and don't forget to subscribe. I love these pillows. I love them so much. Anyways, I will see you in my next video. Bye!